Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know. Now you know. And we're just gonna vlog. I don't know if this will be a one day, a two day, a three day. I don't know. We'll see as we go. But it is currently like, well, we got a late start today because it's 11 o'clock right now. But um, Justin's currently downstairs with like the insurance company because honestly, like over a year ago, he had a rock like debris from the road cracked his windshield and it's not like a big crack it's like only on the side and he finally got the insurance company to come fix it today so he is doing that so we can't really leave the house i mean i can leave the house he can't really leave the house because his car is getting worked on and they said it may take like up to two hours so i am going to get ready go to the gym i'm trying to go every day this week because i don't know i've just been like feeling like i want to get back in shape and i don't know i want to make the gym like a consistent thing because it makes me feel way better on days or like weeks where I just like work out a little bit compared to doing nothing. So we're gonna go do that and I probably am really gonna need this one. I had a mental breakdown yesterday for certain things and I just like, and I'm just like the type of person where I bottle everything up until one little thing just like tips me over and then I need to have like a full on mental breakdown. And then I'm good to go. But I feel like this workout now, I'm like, I'm ready for it. I'm excited. Gonna take out all my emotions on it. I'm just kidding. I feel, I feel way better today. But, um, I don't know. I've been doing, I told myself I'm going all five days this week. Um, yesterday I did 12 through 30. And then today I think I might do only 20 minutes of the 12 through 30. And then do 10 minutes of an additional workout. Or, I don't know if I want to do that. Or if I want to do fully 12 through 30 and then... An additional 10 minutes but I did the other day I think it was like last week or two weeks ago I went and I did 20 minutes and then I did this 10 minute legs and butt workout and like I was sore for the next three days it was a great workout so I kind of want to do that again I don't know we'll decide when we get there and also see like how many people are in the gym and whatnot but I need to change because I'm not going like this um these are all like my short sports bra mix outfits I don't know what I'm in the mood for um, maybe we'll go with this one. Okay, this is way too hard with one hand. I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. This one from White Fox just got the shorts with the little V neck sports bra. You're back. <laughs> I don't know. There's a guy on a ladder right outside this window right now cleaning it. Luckily, I caught that before I just got butt naked and started changing right now. So the blinds are closed, so I think we're good. Still might go change in the bathroom though. I made it. Here's the fit. There's like two people here and someone's on my treadmill. I like to get the one all the way on the end, near the mirror and everything, but someone's there. So, I don't know. I'm gonna set the camera up. I get camera shy around people, but yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna get started. I always put a YouTube video on my phone, AirPods in, try to block out the rest of the world and try to have it go as fast as possible. My biggest tip is to switch instead of like staring at how much time already passed or like how much time is remaining. I just switch it to like clock and it's not even the time of day, it's like some random time. And that way I don't know how much time is left. It goes way faster. So that's my trick if it feels long for you. Um, I did it yesterday for the first day this week and it wasn't physically demanding at all. Like I got through it easily physically, but mentally it felt a little bit long. So that is what makes it easier for me. I'm gonna go get set up, get started, try to find somewhere for the camera. because I had to go to the bathroom so bad. It was the hardest 20 minutes of my life. It hit me like probably four minutes in and I was like, I cannot, I can't get off right now. I had to make it last. I couldn't even stay on for the cool down walk. I literally, the 20 minutes hit, I hit stop and I ran to the bathroom. So 12, 3, 20 today, but I am gonna do the leg and butt workout. I really wanna go into the like yoga and spin room, but I think there was people in there, but I'm gonna show you the video that I did because it was just on YouTube. So I'm gonna go find somewhere to do this and that'll end my workout. Mm -hmm.
That was a successful. We did it. I am dying. I may need to find a new time to come to the gym though because it is packed in there today. Of course, today of all days was the one that I tried to film. Luckily, kind of went off to the side, made it work as much as possible. But the reason why, especially this week, I just really want to try to go five for five days is because it's just like, like I was saying at the beginning, it just like makes me feel better. Like obviously my body is not going to necessarily look different within five days of doing like a 30 to 40 minute workout, but it makes me feel so much better. And I feel like that is literally the trick to it all. Like if I'm in the right mindset, I feel better. In my eyes, I look better. Everything is just like my days are better. I'm not picking my body apart at all. And this weekend's 4th of July and we're going on the boat like two days and it's the week before my period which I always just feel the worst and like so bloated and like gross and I don't want to be on the boat not in the moment like having fun because I'm so worried about like how I feel and how I look so if I work out every day this week in my eyes and like in my mindset I'm gonna be so proud of myself for sticking to that and I know that like I really did everything I possibly could so I'm not gonna have any reason to pick myself apart because I really worked hard to make myself feel better so that is where I'm at right now I like to after I work out just sit on the balcony out here right outside the gym of my apartment complex and just chill for a little bit because if I immediately work out and then I go to walk home my legs feel like jello and I always take the stairs instead of the elevator and half the time I feel like I'm gonna fall down the stairs um Justin just called me and I tried to call him back and he didn't answer so I don't know what he needed but I'm gonna catch my breath chill out here for a little bit and then go back home Okay, whoo, this is zoomed in, baby. Okay, made it back home, we showered, um, made breakfast. Justin was on FaceTime with his friends, so I couldn't really vlog, but I think I'm currently booking an appointment to get my ears pierced. I really want my, so I have my first hole pierced. I got them pierced as a baby, so I don't even remember getting it pierced. Those are the only piercings I have, but I think I never wear earrings in those ears once because growing up, I always played sports between Softball and cheerleading, I would have had to take out my earrings literally weekly, so I just like stopped wearing them. But now that I'm not technically a cheerleader, I can wear earrings. And I feel like if I had more piercings and I could like style them better, I want to find like my everyday earrings that I literally don't take off and I wear non-stop. So I really think I want to get two more piercings on each ear. So I want to be able to do like a big hoop on the hole I have now, one of those little like mini hug hoops here, and then like a stud. So I did order earrings over the weekend from Ana Luisa. And of course those are coming in on Thursday. And I think I'm booking this appointment for tomorrow, but I found a really cute place in Wynwood that like looks like it has really cute earrings. Professional, they use like the needles instead of the gun. I'm nervous. Not for like the actual like piercing. I don't really care about that. I'm nervous that like, this is a big decision. Granted, I have tattoos, so like, if anything's a bigger decision, it's definitely tattoos. I can just take the earring out and like, we'll be fine. But, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I have to put my credit card in so I can't even like, I can't cancel or not show up, I have to do it. All right, well, I booked it. So, technically, I don't know, it said either one or two piercings, and I chose a two piercing option, but I don't know if that means like, if one hole is one piercing or like, both ears, one piercing is considered one piercing. So I'm hoping that they'll let me get both of them. But also as I'm looking at my ear shape, I don't know if I have room for two of them. So we're gonna have to figure this out tomorrow. I guess I'll either way, I'll get like the double pierce for sure. I'll do one more on the lobe. I really want like two hoops and a stud though. So gonna try to figure out, gonna try to make it work. I am rambling. This is what happens when Justin leaves because I have no one to talk to, so I just talk to you guys. But I think next up on today's agenda is I finally got another white pop socket, which means I can change my case. And this video is sponsored by Case Spice. We're gonna talk about them because that is the only case that I trust on my phone. So I'm gonna switch it out, put on a new one, and I'm also doing a giveaway with them. The reason that Case Spice is literally the only cases that I trust on my phone is because they have a Chitech 2.0 technology which allows them to be drop tested and protected for drops up to 9.8 feet. And if you're like me and you just like accidentally throw your phone around all the time, you don't have to worry about anything happening to it because the case protects it. I love that there's literally a case out there for everyone. So this one is personalized. These are the four that I'm going between to actually switch out on my phone. So like you can see, you can basically customize and there are prints for like endless, endless pages. So there's a case out there for everyone. 
Their cases are 100% non-hazardous and non-toxic, and their cases actually have an antimicrobial coating, which keeps your case germ-free and kills up to 99% of bacteria. I can also feel good about the cases on my phone because they use recycled material, and their new impact and ultra impact cases are actually made up of 65% recycled material, and they're compatible with 5G and wireless charging. So if you watched my last video where I worked with Caseify, I was actually showing off some of their Android cases. And obviously I don't have an Android, so I am doing a giveaway with Caseify for a chance to win these Android cases. They are seriously so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I wish I could use them. But all you have to do is go follow Caseify on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and then comment your Instagram handle down below and why you wanna win them. And I will pick a winner and we will get them sent out in about a week. So make sure to check them out. I'm gonna have everything for Caseify linked down below. You can get your own cases for 15% off by going to caseify.com slash Gabby Fuller. I'll have it on the screen. Again, everything is linked down below. So check them out and don't forget to enter the giveaway for a chance to win these. And now it is time. For me to decide what case I want on, I've had this one on literally forever. I love it because I love the like subtle color, but it's summer. So I think for some reason I'm leaning towards these two are calling my name. I, for some reason, something is pointing me towards this one. So I think this is the one we're going to go with. Okay. I think we're sticking it on there. I think this is the case we're going with. I like it. It's fun. And it has some other fun colors in there for summer. Finally switch it up. I've had this case on for literally so long. I don't even remember when I put it on, but make sure to check out Caseify. Everything is going to be linked down below. Now I think I just need to get a little bit of work done. I need to edit a video. I have to edit through some pictures. What time is it? I don't have to be at the gym until, okay, it's two o'clock. I don't have to leave for the gym until six. So I have four hours. I also need to make lunch, but I ate a late breakfast after the workout. I feel like I feel like I should put in earrings. We're gonna do that. <laughs> I just, I have so many cute earrings, but I have, I'm sensitive to like cheap jewelry. Like my ears just don't speak broke, I guess. I have that like allergy to nickel and stuff, which is why my, I can't really wear my world's rings every day because they're made out of such cheap metal that they turn my fingers green and they even like end up tarnishing the rings faster. I don't know if that's how it works, but I swear. Everyone else's stay so nice and mine get so gross because they just like tarnish and don't stay good on my fingers. My fingers like break out. So went on a little rant there, but because of that, I can't really wear cheap earrings either. Like my ears turn green or they just get like irritated, but I need to start wearing and I have such cute earrings. Okay. Honestly, something is pulling me towards these. So I got these from Princess Polly. I'm sure they're probably not real gold or maybe just gold plated. What does it say? Okay, well, there's no nickel, at least. It's iron, zinc, copper, and glass. So they're not gold. <laughs> I don't know. I really like these, though. I like that. I like that earring. We're going to go with that one. I love the, like, rubber backs, though. I don't like the... I feel like very childish of me to like the rubber backs, but I don't know. I just like them more. I wish that this video wasn't going up way after. Like I'm literally gonna continue vlogging tomorrow. So I'm gonna be getting my ears pierced in this vlog, but I'm very confused by when people get like their second and third. I know like, so second hole you do on, I'm really struggling here. Second hole you do on both ears, but like beyond that, I feel like people normally only get piercings on one ear. And I'm confused by that. Am I not supposed to get my third? Oh no, I lost it. Am I not supposed to get like the second and third hole symmetrical on both ears? Because every time they post pictures, they only show you one ear. And I get for like cartilage and rook and all those other ones, it makes sense to only do it on one ear. But I feel like if I'm just doing like second and third holes on like still my lobe, I would want that to be symmetrical on both. But they only ever show one ear. So I don't know. If that's the case, I mean, granted, they'll like help me out and I'll talk about it and I'll obviously figure it out tomorrow, but I feel like I would want it to be symmetrical. I did order this bag off Amazon, which is so cute and it was not that much. I'll have it linked down below, always on my Amazon storefront. And it's like so cute. And the reason I got it was for my new shoes because obviously I don't really own orange. This is such a fun color orange. So I figured I'd wear like a lot of neutral outfits and just try to accessorize 
but they don't match. I guess it's like, it's really not that bad. I think I can get away with it. It's gonna be broken up by a lot. If I wear like an all white outfit and then these, I don't know, these have like a hint of like almost red in them compared to like the orange and this is like strictly orange but it's so fun and also the buckle like comes out so i can also do an outfit with just like the buckle on my pants because i do have a pair of like white cargo pants that i think would be cute but i don't know what to do about that honestly i'm not going to use the energy to go get it exchanged or like returned so probably going to keep it probably going to make it work if not i'll just like edit the color slightly if i post pictures in it you guys will know the secrets behind it all other than that, can we take a moment for my hair? It is getting so long and healthy again and so nice. I'm really not doing anything crazy with it. I'm not using heat on it a lot of the time, so maybe that is what's happening. I stopped, like, after I shower, I really don't even, like, Dyson Air Wrap it anymore. I try to just let it air dry. Really don't use a lot of heat on it. Took a little work break to make some lunch because honestly it's almost four o'clock and I realized that I didn't eat and I was getting very hungry. So last night we had these sausage, pepper and onion sandwiches and they were very good. And we have some leftover sausage that Justin didn't end up eating for lunch. So I'm just sauteing some peppers and onions together. I'm going to throw the sausage in the pan to like get it warmed up with those after they kind of cook through a little bit more and then just putting those together on these little rolls that we have with some mozzarella cheese calling it a day that took literally no time at all it looks so good i just melted the cheese on the pan a little bit and this sausage is the sweet italian sausage from trader joe's hands down the best it is so good i'm gonna go eat this probably work it's 357 right now probably work for like an hour and then just get other things knocked off the to-do list so I'm hungry, I can't wait any longer. Finished up my work for the day, got that all done, sent in, all good there. Then I just got ready for the gym to clog for a walk. It is so hot outside. Luckily, we finally got a tank top to wear because we have to wear like certain shirts to the gym now for staff. So I get to wear a tank top tonight, luckily, because it is like, has to be at least 90 degrees and the gym doesn't have air. I've said that a million times. So it literally feels even hotter than that in the gym. Yeah, it's literally 90 degrees right now. <laughs> so. But while I was taking him for a walk, I was talking to Lexi on the phone. She just got moved into her new place for her residency. And I don't know, we were just like venting and also getting advice on certain things that's like going on right now that I really can't talk about on these videos. And I wish I could because that would make it so much easier because I want advice from other creators. But it's something that I just like can't express on my videos, which makes it really complicated. So try to DM a few bigger creators to get advice and just like knowledge on stuff that I feel like I don't have the knowledge for. But yeah, that was done. It's like 5.34. I still have a while before I have to go to the gym. I have clean clothes that I need to put away. So honestly, I will probably do that. And then yeah. I have LJ tonight. It's a Tuesday. Is it a Tuesday? What day of the week it is? Yes. It's Tuesday, I have LJ tonight. I haven't vlogged yet with them, but like, it's so hard because we work on routine stuff all practice, but we had like a bonding last weekend and we had their like stunt weekend and it's going so well. I love all of them, they're amazing already. I still can't believe I coached them. It has been the best. So lots of vlogs with them coming eventually whenever I can show stuff. I just don't know when like the first time that I'll be able to vlog them is. But anyway, gonna go be productive for like 20 minutes before we head out the door. So I recorded nothing. Well, I've recorded a lot of stuff that you guys can't see, so therefore I've recorded nothing. But it is now 11.26. I can't show them, like all the skills I recorded on my phone were like routine skills that I can't show. So like, I didn't actually vlog at practice. Gotcha, that's what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. But it's 11.25, it's dinner time in this household. We made some chicken and broccoli Alfredo with gnocchi. And I'm tired, so I'm gonna eat this Probably not stay up long. And then we gotta get up early. Go get my ears pierced. Nervy, but I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it is the next day. We are up, it is 9.47. I did not realize it was that late, so I need to get ready super fast. Luckily I have my outfit basically picked out. I'm just going between two shirts and I don't know which one that I wanna wear. We are currently 
talking about baby names and if you guys heard some of the names that we are going between just for the heck of it because well we have one of Justin's like best best friends is having a baby soon and uh, we were shopping for her baby shower then we got talking about baby clothes baby names and uh, you guys would definitely make fun of us because they're kind of Kardashian names but I don't like common names so anyway this is the outfit we're going with these pants Oh, that was really loud. These pants are just so fun. Really want to wear them. So I'll probably wear those. The plan is with my university blue ones. But then Justin says that if I wear this top, it's too busy. And I shouldn't wear the ones. And I should just wear, like, my black and white dunks. But, I don't know. I feel like that vibe's cute. Or then this, which is literally a bathing suit. But I wear it as a top. Plain white top with the pants and the university ones. And I don't know what I'm going with, so we're going to start with the pants, I guess, and decide between the two. Okay, I think we're just committing to this one because, I don't know, this one at least looks more like a shirt. The other one straight up looks like a bathing suit. But I think we're just still going to wear the University Blue ones because I don't really care. I think I'm going to do a low bun with my hair because it is quite a few days old. I don't know if I should keep these earrings in or switch them to hoops because I feel like... I don't know. Maybe we'll leave these. They're different. I'll probably wear hoops 99% of the time, so I guess we'll leave these in for now. I need to brush through my hair, though, because it is very all over the place. Doing a very minimal makeup look. I just want to look somewhat put together. Also, my face is breaking out, which is rude, but my blush that I love, I literally can't even open it because it's going to spill everywhere from Tarte in the shade Party is literally like broken i i can't even yes there we go broken not really usable but then i remembered i got a pr package from ysl which is still insane to me and they're like cream blushes and i feel like everyone's using cream makeup lately but me and i feel like i need to get on the wave so we're gonna try it what is this shade i don't even know i'm nervous i don't know like how much i need to do I mean like it's there I don't know I'm so used to I like this side better this side I don't know if it doesn't have enough we are out we got like a 40 to 45 minute drive to go to Wynwood to get these ears pierced I still don't know how many I'm even getting because I don't know how it works but at least gonna get the second hole pierced and then we'll see if they'll let me do a third on one ear. Why wouldn't they let you do that? What? Why wouldn't they let you do that? I don't know, because when I was making the appointment, it only let me pick between one or two piercings. And I don't know if, like, my double hole on both ears counts as one or two. Right? So, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Do you think if I do a third, I should only do it on one ear? I feel like that's what people do. So, I should do it on my good side, obviously. obviously. With my tattoo and everything. For sure. Okay. We somehow got lucky and gas here is still 427, but right across is 449. And across there is 449 too. I was really sad because I was gonna get gas last night. I just hate getting gas by myself at night because it's back men. Up. It's back up. It's on the pot. 427, but and it's 449 there. I thought we got lucky. I should have got it last night. I just can't believe it jumped up 20 cents again. It was going down for so long. Comment down below what gas is near you. It's, I guess, now 4.49 here. It was literally 4.21, I think, yesterday and the day before. But I guess it jumped back up. Okay. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. We're going to talk baby names. We're not going to give away ones that we like. But let's just say a couple of them are colors. One's a designer. One's an animal. Some are nouns. Some. None of them are names. Some creep always with you. They like lurk behind you. Oh, I mean that was that was the noun. You were really kind of describing it, but it's cool. Well, <laughs> I wasn't really describing it. I was like, I don't know. I just think that's a fun way to put it. So. Yeah, I don't know. But what are names? You had names before we. Like I remember the first time we talked about baby names, and you were like, "Do you like any of these?" And you had them written down. Do you remember what they were? I think one was like Jennifer. <laughs> 
Are you actually serious? Yeah. Jennifer. Like, you Jennifer. liked Jennifer. Jennifer Chase or something like that. <laughs> Nothing. This isn't anything to do with like the name Jennifer is nice, but like if you could hear the names that we're talking about now. Nothing like Jennifer. Because yeah, it was like that was just like the regular basic names that I had. But then like, oh no, okay. The, one of the there names was a boy. Was, I, there was a boy. It was, it was Jalen Chase. Okay, like yes. Jalen Chase. J a y l e n Chase. Because you wanted J names. Which I think is nice. Yeah, because I wanted J names. Um, I, like I don't. I don't mind Jalen. But probably not what we're gonna pick. Oh my god. Then of course I have my whole list of baby names that I had growing up. So originally when I was like twelve. The names that I liked were Grayson, Blakely, Layton, Dawson, and Collins, with a K. And then it went into Oakley, Lennon, Rain, Chance, Brooks. I like Jalen Chase a lot. I just think it rolls off the, talk, rolls <laughs> off the tongue so well, like Jalen Chase. Jalen Chase Gonzalez? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't mind it. Jason. It doesn't match the vibe of the other Jason, names that we're Jason. trying no, to do no, now. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> no. It, it, that's completely different. That's just my old self, like, yeah. speaking. Yeah, but no, but, like, name-wise, yeah. I like, I like yeah. Jalen Chase a lot. I don't I mind it's it. Nice. It's cute. Yeah. Um, then, then the list gets into the the crazy current ones. But, I don't know, I just feel like they're cool. Like, I wish I had a cool name. Like, I love when people have... Like, we have a, a sage and a coral on LJ this year. Like, those are so fun. Or what else? What other names do I hear that, like, I don't I love, I love, like, Stormy. I love Rain. I love Chris Brown's kid's name, Royalty. Yeah. So cool. Like, cool. Now, like, I would never name my kid Northwest or Psalm or Chicago. <laughs> but, like, right. Saint? Saint's kind of cool, too. That's all. I grow up to not be saints. Because <laughs> you know how corrupted everybody gets. But it does kind of stress me out that, because like growing up, I, always, I was always set on those baby names that I like knew what I wanted. And now I feel yeah, like, well, we're times. starting to, different no, times. absolutely. But we're starting to kind of narrow it down to a few that we really like. Until we come up with another right. six in the next two years. I so like, know. But I feel like I'm going to be that, I, I kind of want to hire, there's a baby name consultant on TikTok. And she's so good at like picking out like the vibe of people. She also like guesses people's baby names, and I feel like I'm gonna want to pay her to be like, give me the best baby names. Like actually, I maybe, because I feel like there's probably so many that I like names that are just like words like echo. You would never like think of that as a name. That's such a cute name. <laughs> so I don't know. I get you. But <laughs> I don't know. It's just like. There's a lot that goes into it, you know? And, yeah. like, we obviously have to, like, there sit was down and really think about, like, like I said before, right? It's, so like, we need to have two girl names, two guy, two boy names. And make sure they and match sure, with each like, other. each other. Like, all four can yeah. go. So it's just, like, when we look at the baby, we can, like, just, like, no. feel it deep yeah. in our hearts. That's, like, all right, this is definitely going to be. That's another thing. I could day. never announce the baby name until the baby's already out. Because I feel like so many of the times you, like, say a name and people are, like, Oh, I, had a, I went to a kid in kindergarten with that name. I hated him. And then all of a sudden you're like, great. Well, I don't want to think of that every time I think of the name. So no one's going to know the names till the baby's born, till we decide on it. But that was our, our baby name talk. <laughs> so I couldn't record anything. <laughs> he, couldn't even, he couldn't even come back in the room with me, which is kind of weird. But oh, no, don't look yet. Um, the place was super cute inside. They could only do two piercings at once and they said it's better to just do one side completely. Let that one heal. That way I don't have to worry about like not being able to sleep on either side. Even though this is definitely the side that I sleep on more. But we did it. So they don't, you obviously like can't pierce with hoops. So we chose this little like three thing and then the locket to go with my necklace. I like it. Um, Pain-wise, I would give it like a... I mean, it hurts for like the split second. I would say when it hurts, it's maybe like a, a five, six. And then it goes down to like a zero right after. Spell zero. O-R-E-Z. <laughs> yeah, so we did it. It took no time at all. They let me go right when we got in there. And then now it's 11.35 and I'm done already. That's sick, too. Super cool. When was the super cool area if you're ever visiting Miami? 
literally Yummy. like the whole thing is just covered in art. It's super nice. So we're going to Dadeland now. Yep. Gonna go baby shopping. We're having a baby. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And how cute. So we're we're starting with it. Oh, I can't show this. I know you can't. Do you think she watches? Oh, <laughs> these baby clothes are so cute. <laughs> Everybody comments on below if we should just have a baby right now. Is this the size? <laughs> yeah, 12 to 18. These clothes are so cute. This is so cute, right? actually. Right? This is so cute. I think sweatshirts would be super cute too, just because like you know like yeah, like always for everything. Yeah. This is our baby, baby size, section. Though? To do 12 to 18 months like, for the first year. Made it home, got such cute clothes from Zara. Um, I don't think she watches these, but I guess I'm not gonna show them just in case because this video is definitely going up way before the baby shower. But we just got home, we got Jersey Mike's for lunch. We didn't eat it yet, but um, I just got, I think, a PR package from Hollister, so we're gonna open it. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's a nice color. Oh, these are nice. Oh my god, babe, come look at these. They're a little long. But these are cute. They're like these little pants. Brown color. I'm going to turn the light on. A nice brown color with like the stripe down the side. A little track pant. Super cute. Really like those. Oh, this is nice. Just a plain white, like strappy back sports bra, each drop top. Is that everything? That is everything. Am I supposed to wear those together? Could be a cute fit, actually. I really like these pants. Okay, well, um, we're just gonna sit and eat. And to be honest, I think I'm just gonna edit this video and get it up. So I think I'm gonna end it here. It was a fun one. A little chatty, look at these. So nice, right? Wow. Super cute. So nice. Um, yeah, so we're just, we're just gonna end it, so. Make sure to check out Caseify down below. Enter the giveaway. All of that is in the description. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Here's the ear. It doesn't hurt yet. I'll keep you updated in the future on uh, the healing process and everything. How it feels to sleep on it tonight. But I need to get this video done because I think I'm posting it like literally tomorrow. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on. All that, and I will see you in the next video.